Hi, this is a quick tutorial on um, projectiles in CryEngine using C Sharp. So if you go to uh, the CryEngine docs, and then click on technical documentation under co code tutorials, um, CryEngine Sharp programming, there are some good tutorials with some great code there. Um, if you go to the Using Managed Entities section and then uh, click on Projectiles, there's a, a nice article on how to get started with projectiles in C Sharp. Now this hasn't been updated yet for 5.3. Um, I expect that'll happen soon. Uh, in the meantime, you can start playing with the code uh, if you have 5.2 installed. You just download the uh, completed project by clicking on the link I'm showing you here. And if you want, you can read through uh, some of the explanation there. So once you've got it downloaded, uh, you can uh, extract that zip to somewhere on your, your machine. And then let's go there. So like I said, this is a 5.2 project. You right click um, to generate the solution. Actually, this won't work uh, with that particular zip file, with that particular um, download, you'll probably find that the files are write protected. So uh, right click on code, go to properties, and uh, deselect read only to make sure that the uh, directory and its subdirectories and all the files in there are uh, writable. Apply, yes, to all the subfolders and files, okay, okay. So now if you right click on the, uh, on the um, CryEngine project file, generate solution, And then you can edit C sharp code. And that will open it up in Mono Develop. Select, uh, I've got a 64 bit machine. And then you can simply uh, build and run. and then you left click to fire a projectile. You've got this uh, static target in front of you. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. You'll probably notice that the, um, the camera doesn't uh, move as the mouse changes uh, position on the screen. I'll do another tutorial to show you how you can change that. So you can start taking this code and, and making a game from it. Okay, so um, those tutorials are definitely worth exploring. Uh, when they get updated for 5.3, I'll do another video on that. Um, okay, I hope that was helpful. See you soon. Bye.